Hi, welcome to Dad's Diary and uh, the second episode so far. Now, why we're in the car today is very simple because I mentioned in the first video, uh, well, I mentioned a lot in the first video, but um, even though we are around half time now of my wife's pregnancy, uh, we already ordered a few things um, because that's the one tip as well I would like to give you is. Um, you shouldn't start too early buying things, but you shouldn't start too late as well, because everything will accumulate at one point. And depending on how much your budget is and how much you would like to spend for a stroller, a baby bed, uh, a high chair, uh, accessories, and so on and so on, it might be too much for one salary, uh, and uh, especially just before the birth. Don't forget that. Obviously, towards the end of the pregnancy, uh, your wife uh, or you gonna be right having a big belly right so you're not gonna be able or not gonna have the desire to go shopping for quite a long time and basically uh, look for strollers look for this look for that so um, just get a checklist there are some stores that have checklists where you can basically look what you should get at what time uh, now the first thing we got is the stroller uh, and we were looking at strollers for already like two three months approximately and uh, we went to obviously stores and looked at the strollers and um, we picked out uh, a Boogaboo. And whatever you think about Boogaboo, uh, we really checked, I think, 10, 15 strollers. Um, and this is the one that we like most. So it's gonna be the Boogaboo Fox, uh, which is the brand new model from 2018. Um, they are older models like the Chameleon and the Donkey, which is more for twin or if you have a lot of cargo basically you need to go shopping and you buy a lot and they have the B which is kind of a really small city stroller but what we liked about the Fox versus the Chameleon was that you have bigger wheels it's the baby sits or lies higher because it's much higher or elevated uh, on the frame it's lighter and it's much more compact uh, when you put it together even though we have uh, quite a huge car or huge car we have a Skoda Octavia combi uh, which has good size boot. Uh, it's not uh, easy to, to find a stroller that will not take the whole boot, right? And even though you can fold this together, uh, still there isn't much left from the boot. Just bear with me, there's a tunnel coming. I don't want to uh, talk in a tunnel because it's going to be dark. Uh, we're going to be right back, just a moment. Um, yes, so start early enough to not buy the things right away but at least to research the price because now Boogaboo is quite expensive if you look at the strollers there are brands that are even more expensive uh, or similar like Stocke for example Stocke is the brand that makes uh, I would say from all the research and from all the friends and family around um, the best high chair it's called the trip trap and we're going to get one as well Funny thing is, we were planning to buy one, but uh, work colleague of my wife actually has two sons, and they already grown up in a sense of they are they don't need the, the chair anymore. They are like ten and seven or something like that, and um, she's basically gonna gift us the chair that they were using, and that chair they used for around ten years, and it's still fine. So that's the difference between if you buy cheap or if you buy something that might be a little bit more expensive but will last you forever right and uh, the same thing my brother for example has the same chair and they have it already for like 12 years and it's still being used in the kitchen for the smaller one um, obviously they put down the, the seat height but uh, it's still being used and uh, that's quality right so if something lasts 10 12 15 years it's a good product now the Boogaboo Fox, as I mentioned, is the newest one, and prices in Switzerland are around 1,150 to 1,400 Swiss francs. If you look in online prices, I'm talking about online prices, because obviously if you go to a store, it's gonna be even higher. Uh, we went to Germany uh, to different stores, like baby stores, and there it was as well, the same thing, 1,100, 1,200 euro, which is a lot. Right, so we are not willing to spend that much money if you can get it for a more affordable price. Same product. Obviously, if you buy a good deal, you might have to sacrifice certain colors, right? Um, 
because Boogaboo can be individualized, different things. Um, the canopy can be different, obviously the color, the color of the frame, the wheels, uh, the handles, and so on and so on. But if you go for one that is basically pre-produced, um, they may be, I don't know, produced thousands of them, and then just distributed them all over Europe, you might be able to find a good, really good deal. So we found one uh, online, which was first 1,029 euro, 1,079 euro, and then we saw actually online a deal for 918 euro for a brand new one with everything. Because sometimes they have deals where the canopy is not there or the cover for um, the baby inlay. Um, so that you have to pay attention as well when you buy online that everything is there. And 917 was a really good deal, especially comparing prices of one to, up to 1,300, 1,400. So we could, we went ahead and basically ordered it. Now, the thing is, a week later, even though I thought it's not going to be going down anymore, we found a day deal on an online website, uh, a big online baby shop for 839 and with a voucher of 819. Well, I had ordered the other one already and I wasn't sure if I should order the second one and just return the first one because it's kind of not nice. So I didn't do it. However, the other website had a low price guarantee basically. So if you find another competitor that has the same product on a lower price, you just contact them and they will usually give you the refund, right? So I did that. However, because it was a certain day deal with the voucher attached to it, and it was not accepted. But I basically asked for if there is any possibility to get something back in return, even if it's not the money, can we get maybe um, the Maxi Cozy adapters, because we're gonna get a Maxi Cozy as well um, for our baby, and we will need an adapter to basically fit the Maxi Cozy seat onto the stroller, so we don't have to get the baby out from the stroller into the baby seat and vice versa later on. And uh, a cup holder, which is worth around 48, 55 euros, something like that. And they agreed to that. So, you know, at least something back. Obviously, you have to be very polite when you do that. Uh, you shouldn't demand right away, but um, I was polite and I asked for it. There was emails back and forth, but at, at the end, it basically worked out. Now, you might ask yourself, why am I talking in Euro when I'm living in Switzerland and we have Swiss francs? It's because we ordered in Germany. Now, there's another tip I would like to give you. If you live in Switzerland, you have the opportunity to get things delivered to the German border, also the Swiss border. Uh, the thing is that a lot of brands, for obvious reasons, they don't want that products from Germany or other countries are shipped into Switzerland uh, for a lower price because no one would buy them here anymore. And I do get this point. Um, my opinion is if this is a product that's made in Switzerland, I buy it in Switzerland. If it's handcrafted here, from materials from here, I totally agree with paying the price. But if it's a product that's not coming from here, um, I don't see really the point of spending 20, 30, 40% more on the same item if I can get it less expensive in Germany. Yeah? I am German and this is what it is. Obviously, if you're not born rich or you have a rich family that pays everything for you, you have to look in a way you can save some money, right? And if I can save 200, 300, 400 euro on a stroller alone, then uh, we'll do that. Because obviously that money can be used to buy the high chair, that money can be used to buy a baby seat, baby bed, and so on and so on. So there's more items that you need rather than just one stroller, right? And therefore, I look for the best ways to spend the money smart, even though we buy quality items, in my opinion, that will last long. Um, and I don't like to throw my money out of the window, right? Okay, so we're going to Germany. Basically, I have a German delivery address just right after the border. And all my shipments, all the things that I buy in Germany, as well from online platforms, are shipped there. And then I basically go and pick them up from there. Yes, I do have to drive an hour and a half to get there. And obviously, back and forth is three hours of driving. But again, if you save 300, 400 euro on certain things, then it's worthwhile doing. Side note is, because it's an item higher than, I don't know, 300 euro, 
uh, you get some tax back. So if you buy items worth less than 300 euro, um, you can claim your tax back without paying any taxes to basically import these things into Switzerland. So usually it's food or small items. If you buy something above that, and this is per person, right? Um, now the stroller will be 900 euro, 917 or something like that. I'll have to pay tax 8% when we basically get back into Switzerland. But I can claim that 19% back from the shop I bought it in. So basically I'm still gonna save 11%. 920 euro, 900, let's say 920 euro, 10% is 92 euro, so the stroller will basically uh, come around 830, 835 euro, which is a really good price. And basically, that's where we're going today. So I'm going to pick up our stroller and I'm gonna show you where it is and how it basically comes. And in another video, I'm gonna show you basically how you to assemble the stroller and uh, all the features of it. So uh, stay tuned. Now I have an hour and, and 20 minutes of drive in front of me and uh, we're gonna see each other on the other side of Germany. Right, so we arrived in Germany and we came to the Paket Depot Lürach. Uh, I'm just going to put it in link in the description in case you're living in Switzerland as well. You would like to order um, some or a lot of things and you can even order washing machines, anything. So really there's no limitation as far as I know in regards to size, uh, fridges and so on, so on, tires. And uh, yeah, actually we're not picking up only one stroller, but the second one we ordered as well came already. So I'm going to show you. and. Uh, cost me now seven euro for the bigger one and five euro for the smaller one uh, here we go so you can see it and I'm just gonna turn on the camera and show it to you guys all right here you go so we have the Boogaboo Fox as you can see I already opened it and looked at it and we have as well the Recaro Easy Life which will be a travel stroller because obviously look how small this package is versus how big this one is and obviously this is not assembled but this one is just one hand folding option. Uh, you're gonna love it. Uh, when I saw it, I said right away, I wanna get it. So, now we close it, and you can see it's quite a lot of cargo, right? So now we close it, we're gonna go uh, eat something. Uh, I have to go to the bank, and I have to go buy some groceries, and then we're gonna head back to Switzerland. Right, let's go. Today is good day. Not only did we pick up both strollers, Actually, I just got a message before I was leaving Germany um, that the other parts arrived, the cup holder and the Maxi Cozy adapter. So everything I could pick up, even though I was expecting only to pick up one piece today, we have three pieces, which is very good. Uh, another thing that happened as well when I was uh, in the city, uh, in Lörach, I was walking uh, away from the bakery, I think I bought something in the bakery, and I found a wallet on the bench. So I took that wallet and asked someone next by if they know if they're from here. I said, yes, sir. I said, can you tell me where's the next police station? So they pointed me to the police station and I basically gave uh, that wallet to the police and hopefully the owner um, will be found, you know, and can, the wallet can be returned to him or her. So um, very nice day, sun is shining, it's very warm, it's 29 degrees. And now we are heading towards the border where we're going to do all the paperwork for uh, get it basically importing everything into Switzerland to you know have everything done and pay the taxes and then later on I will hopefully scan this or I'm not quite sure if I have to send it or scan it and send it to, uh, to the companies to claim back the tax so wish me luck and uh, I'll see you on the Swiss side again right so I just came from the tax office, whatever you call it, at the border. And now we paid, so I paid 67 francs 45 uh, tax, which is 7.7% of the netto wert, which means basically the price without the German tax, because obviously you don't pay tax for the tax, right? So they deduct the 19% tax, you can see this on a bill like this, and then you pay only tax on that, right? So it was 67 francs. And now uh, the only thing left to do is now go home, scan that, send an email to uh, the online shop where I bought it, and hopefully uh, get the money refunded onto my credit cards, uh, the way we paid. Right, so very successful day. We have everything, paperwork done, stamps on everything, and now we're heading back to uh, Interlaken, which is an hour and 45 minutes approximately. It's a little bit traffic now because 
it's just around three o'clock now and we're gonna get into traffic around burn area uh, which is every day like that right so um, I'll give you an update in the next video how it went or one of the next videos uh, if we got the money back how long it took and uh, that's pretty much it so I hope it was interesting for you guys in case you want to do something like this you can save quite a lot of money uh, just let me tell you that and uh, one more important thing for example the stroller the second one as well as the shopping groceries I wouldn't have to pay tax on it it was only like nine francs something if for example my wife would have been me uh, if my wife would have been with me because there's a uh, cap on 300 francs basically everything up to 300 francs per person you can get in for free without paying tax for it so basically the Recaro stroller and the grocery which was like 50 euro worth or so um, we would have not had to pay tax if my wife would have been with me uh, only for the item that is above this 300 so just to let you know so if you're multiple people for example four people in a car you can bring up to 1200 francs however you cannot accumulate an item for example if you buy a chair which is 400 euro uh, you will not be able to claim that without tax because you can't split that item basically right okay but that's it thank you very much for watching please subscribe uh, i hope these videos are interesting to you for you guys and there will be more coming so there will be a review of the bugaboo Boo coming uh, assembly video then a review uh, and the same thing with the recaro um, easy life stroller and uh, well all the other things that we're gonna get over the next month before the baby will be born right have a good day take care and see you next time bye